Once again to Of One Mind Beer Reviews. My name's Daniel. My name's Zeb. And uh, we're kind of casual tonight. Yeah, this is a Kick nice back. relaxing e evening on the couch. <laughs> so uh, tonight we're going to drink this Harvest Ale from Barrel House Brewing Company in Paso Robles, California. I was actually there recently. My cousin's husband works there. and he, Awesome. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. Gave us a tour. Had a great time and drank a lot of awesome beer. And he uh, also gave me a bunch of beer, which is awesome. Freeze even better than cheap, like they said. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of good beers there, and uh, we're gonna try out this Harvest Ale and see what it's all about. It's, it's, uh, they, they call it a spice brown porter, which seems like a questionable. You know, <laughs> is it a brown ale? To is me, that sounds like a brown ale because I don't. And, porters. Uh, well, you know, this is the thing. Porters are brown. They're just usually a dark brown. Mm. Yes, brown ale is a different animal. Somewhat. I, like, again, you know, beer, you keep blurring the, the lines. The lines are so blurry. Blurring the line beyond, of recognition, beyond recognition. But <clears throat> was that a sentence? I don't think that was words. So, blurring. So. Blurring to the lines <laughs> beyond recognition. Blurring. Yeah. We like to make up our own words. It depends mm -hmm. on how much beer we've had, too. Yeah, well, right now we've had none. <laughs> did this have an ABV? Starting early. I'm sure it did. I just didn't have to say what it is. Uh, Check over here. Give me a minute. 6.8. Cool. So it's a harvest ale, which uh, it's made with pumpkin and spices. Yes. Um, they say hand-roasted pumpkins. It's like someone's hands were really hot. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, I hope these are done roasting soon. Yeah, oh, let's look sure. at the color first. So a real, it's like a really, really nice mahogany. Yeah, I was going to say mahogany. If you see where the light penetrates. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's really nice. Yeah, it's a it's mahogany sweet. spiced porter. Hmm. Uh, pretty minimal khaki head. Yeah. I smell... Spices? Pumpkin pie spices. Whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, cinnamon, nutmeg. Mm-hmm. What else is in pumpkin pie? Allspice. Allspice. Clove. clove. Look, yeah, I think they pretty much everything. Yeah, it's like pumpkin pie. It's like all of the spices. Anything? Allspice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I get a real little bit of like pumpkiny sort of vegetationiness. Hmm. Okay. Shall we drink? Shlanta. Shlanta. Tastes spicy. Yeah. What do you think? <clears throat> I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's like, I don't taste any pumpkin. I definitely don't taste pumpkin. I kind of taste flat. Not flat, like not carbonated. I mean, um, like the flavor compared to the aroma is very different. Like the aroma is pretty heavy. And the flavor is kind of real light. Hmm. It doesn't really taste like a porter. It doesn't really taste like a brown ale. Yeah, it's somewhere in those blurred lines. Yeah. Oddly enough, it tastes like pepper. Like Is that one of the spices they put? Yeah. Like yeah, black you pepper. Don't, you don't put black pepper in your pumpkin <laughs> pie? <laughs> no. Among, amongst other things, but I'm getting them. Um... Uh, yeah, I get kind of like peppery earthiness mm. in there. But I gotta that... say, yeah, for... for uh, I don't. I don't really taste. As far pepper. as you know, as the aroma goes, like the aroma and flavor don't match up, but that's probably okay because I don't taste a ton of spices, which I don't. I don't love in my beers anyway. Right. I was gonna say with pumpkin beers, you're you don't like them to taste like a pumpkin pie. Yeah, I like right? it to taste more like pumpkin. I don't mind a little bit of spice, but I prefer it to taste like pumpkin. Mm. Like I don't want a pumpkin pie beer. I want a pumpkin beer. Yeah. I see what you're saying. But generally, everybody makes a pumpkin pie beer. Right. It's calls it pumpkin sense. beer. In the back end, I get, like, coffee and, like, burnt toast. It's, it's got good flavors. It just, it doesn't, like, it's a, it is a good fall beer. Makes sense. It's yeah. their harvest ale. Right. And none of the, like, pumpkin, it, it's, actually, it's kind of nice, because if you looked at this label, and you only looked at the label, like, the front, <laughs> you wouldn't guess that it's a pumpkin beer. Right. Or 
a spiced beer, which is good because it doesn't really, like it says that on the side, but it doesn't really taste like a pumpkin beer or a spiced beer. It just, it tastes like a good fall beer. Right. So a harvest ale, maybe they're creating their own uh, genre there. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. The genre? No, the beer. I hate the genre. <laughs> no. um, uh, actually, other breweries make Harvest Tales. Uh, Long Trail makes one. Ooh. So anyway. I, I get a real little, like at the very start, I get like a little tiny bit of pumpkin flavor. Do you? And then I get some, uh, again, real subtle spices. But that's all backed up by like grains. Mm. In the end, I get coffee and like burnt toast. There is a, a you know... Multiple flavors. There's a lot going on there. It's it's um, it keeps you interested for sure. Yeah, that's, I, the more you taste, the more you taste. I get a little touch of sweetness, um, like in the middle, mm. but it doesn't appear right away. It's yeah, kind of like uh, I'm almost thinking like um, like vanilla or something, perhaps. But Barrel House, uh, if you're in Paso Robles, California, if you're in California, check it out. The place is awesome. I think they're going to be going places. Uh, and thanks to Billy for providing a bottle. Yeah, that's cool. And the tour was great. Let's see what they say. <clears throat> Hints of graham cracker. Mm. Pumpkin pie, vanilla. Celebrates the spirit of the season. A truly unique taste. It is unique. It's unique because... I'll go along with that. I went into it expecting a pumpkin beer. Uh-huh. And it's not really that, which I think is good. For yeah, that. nor does it claim to be. Right, that's what I mean. Like, like I said, yeah. if you if you just got this part without the side, mm -hmm. you would be like, okay, Harvest Ale, so it's going to be like kind of dark and malty. Something you drink while harvesting the crops. Yeah, or like during <laughs> or that season, you know? Right so now. I like it. You probably like the minimalistic... Uh, yeah, I like the label. Also. It looks good. That's I like nice. their symbol. This little. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> it's real easy. I like that. <clears throat> This is part of their Forager series, whatever that means. Uh, I believe Forager, as Billy told me, was they, uh, I don't know if they themselves go out and forage for stuff, but they, they're using local, um, you know, ingredients cool. and whatnot. I don't think they're out, like, picking milkweed or anything. But <laughs> they're like, grow these pumpkins! <laughs> yeah, maybe. They're sneaking into somebody's pumpkin field at night. <laughs> We're foraging pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's good. Hand roast. Um, Mouthfeel. I, w I would say it's maybe a little watery. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah. I'll go along with that. Drinkability. I mean, it's good. It's very drinkable. Ooh. It doesn't taste like 7% or 6.8, close to 7%. Hmm. I like that it's not overly pumpkin-y or overly spicy. It blends all of those together. I agree. They do sour beers also at, at oh. Barrel House, but it, it's in a separate facility. That's how you got to do <laughs> it, fortunately. Yeah, because I, I quizzed them on, on that. <laughs> uh, not fans of sours. No. <laughs> we won't okay. get into that, though. The furthest I'll go is, like, every once in a while I'll try a Goza, and I'll be like, that's maybe okay. <laughs> like, it, like I, I can drink it, but I don't want more than one, so yeah. whatever. That's neither here nor there. Correct. Uh, do, you ever, do, with do you have a rating? I am giving that a four. Four, yeah. Yeah, I was right there. Right. Uh, yeah, the mouthfeel is a little thin, watery. Yeah. And um, the smell is very powerful, and it maybe gives you a false sense of what the beer will taste like. Perhaps, yeah. That's my... And still, that's really good. I don't know how much longer it's available, because I don't know anything about this brewery, because I didn't go. <laughs> Good point. I don't know either. I guess you just have to look up their site and see uh, when it's available and what. Yeah. Why? I mean, this this bottle says it was bottled on 928 and it's November 2nd. Yeah, you can't even get it here. I mean, yeah, no, it's not available here. Stuff. Shipped it back mm -hmm. uh, along with several others. So we'll be doing yeah. uh, quite a few. We got a bunch of California beers to review. Uh, All right. Quite a few barrel house. <coughs> probably Excuse taken, me. We've probably taken enough of your time. Mm. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them below or send us an email. Please subscribe if you like what we're doing. Until next time, cheers. Cheers indeed.